Hey, what's up guys? I was just outside cleaning the gutters and uh, like literally just right outside my window. Like I climbed outside my window and I went to clean right there. You can see where that leaf, that leaf is sticking up right there. I mean, come on, I had my hand in that gutter and it was just like, sing. You know that just pain that just shoots through you? It was a sting, definitely a sting. Check this sting out. My body reacts pretty crazily to wasp stings. My, uh, I usually get stung on the knee or the legs, you know, I'm usually walking by or mowing over their, their nest that they put in the ground. And, uh, you know, it just gets super swollen. I got stung by my ankle a couple of weeks ago. And you couldn't even see my ankle the next day. It was just like swollen. So today I'm going to document this thing. It's been like probably 20 minutes since I got it. You know, it's not too bad right now. Um, I'm about to take a Claritin, but I think it's going to get really big. So I'm going to do a time check here. All right, right now it's 425. So um, let's say I got bit around 5 after 4. This is 20 minutes or so right after that's that bite. Uh, I'll keep you updated as things change. Hopefully it won't get any worse, but if it does, you know, at least we'll have it uh, documented. And, and if any of you guys get stung by a wasp, I'm pretty sure these are yellow jackets out there. You, if your body reacts like mine, you'll, you'll see what's to come. Oh yeah, you're lucky. Hold tight. Okay, so it's been almost 40 minutes since I got stung and the sting has sort of mellowed out. You know, like 20 minutes ago, it was sort of more localized right there. Maybe it was a half inch diameter or so. Now it's starting to sort of spread, if you will. So if you take a look here, you can see sort of the swelling. It's getting a little longer from there to there. It's a little bit wider, but definitely it's a little bit longer. All right, keep you updated. All right, there it is. My hand's getting puffy. You can see it's getting puffy all around the edge. And uh, when I clench my fist, oh, you can see my veins are disappearing. You can see my veins on the right there, on this side, but you can't see over on the left. It's starting to get puffy. Just my luck, right? Just my luck. Well, I guess that's part of uh, doing stuff in the summer. Those wasps, they're right here. Oh, they're right there. Hey, it's about 6.45 now, so a few hours, three hours after the fact. Let's check out my hand. Okay, my veins have completely disappeared now, and I'm starting to get itchy right here. It's starting to itch a little bit, but uh, seems to be about it. It is puffy, if you can, you can kind of see it. I don't know if you can, but... It's all puffy. It's all, this is a nice puffy area here. But we just had an awesome downpour and I'm hoping I got into enough of their nest where that downpour just like starting to clean those guys out. I hope. Serves them right for stinging me. All right. It's been 14 hours since I got stung. It's pretty early in the morning here. Look at this hand. My normal hand.
completely swollen. My skin feels really tight. And it was so itchy. Wow. My skin is really tight this morning. It's been 14 hours. And it was so itchy last night, like the whole hand. So I'm gonna put some uh, cream on it. I'm gonna have another Claritin. Maybe some ibuprofen. Maybe that will help with the uh, with the swelling. That's bad. All right. Now for an update on my arm. It's been uh, it's been a while. So I think it's been. Um, so it's been like 15 hours or so since I got stung by that wasp. The venom, the, 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 the sting happened right here. And the venom has spread all throughout my fingers, has spread through my hand, the whole back of my hand, if you could see that, it's big and puffy. And it's spread all the way down to about right here. If you can see that, here's like the normal part of my arm. This has all been puffy. This is about 15 hours after my initial initial stinging. And for comparison here, of course, is my other hand. You could see my knuckles. You could see my veins. And as far as my arm is concerned, you know, you can see that bone and that tendon right there. But on the arm that I got stung, you can't really see that at all. So, it's just getting really, really, really puffy. I did find out something cool. So check this out. If I see how puffy that is, watch this. I'm going to press it down with my hand for a minute. And watch. Whoa, see that dent? See that dent in my hand? That's crazy. That's creepy. <sighs> my fingers are so fat right now. Like if I was wearing a ring, they would just be stuck on. I mean, look at this middle finger right here. And look at this pinky, right? Huge. Okay, it's been 21 hours since the sting. The venom is still pumping through my veins. But check out my fingers right there. Huh? This is too weird. So puffy. I feel like, I feel like, uh, did you, did you ever see Shrek? And at the end of the movie, the princess turns into a Shrek monster and she gets all big. That's what I feel like is happening. Look at these fingers. It's insane. Uh, I don't know if it's moved up my arm anymore at this point, but, you know, I think it's probably moved up a little bit. Um, I was reading on the internet. It says swelling can increase for 48 hours. So I'm not even halfway through with this. I've still got some more swelling to do. Well, isn't that swell? Okay, so it's been 42 hours. It's been 42 hours since the initial sting, right? Check out my arms now. So this one's fully defined. This one's the normal one. I think the venom has spread all the way, like, almost to my elbow. And I can kind of feel it. Yesterday I sort of felt it in my arm a little bit. It's like felt like just tight a little bit. 
Um, but now you can see it's spread all the way down to my elbow. And, you know, of course, it's still, I've still got my fat hand, right? My fat hand. The thing that's different about today is the itching has gone way, way, way down. And the swelling in my hand doesn't seem so swollen, right? You know, yesterday we had the, uh, I was doing that trick where it was sort of denting my hand. And uh, still kind of doing that a little bit, but it doesn't feel, feel quite as tight. Like I can close my fist and it doesn't feel like I'm pulling all my skin to the max. Feels like there's a little bit of play. So I don't, so although there's still a swelling, it's just not swollen as much as it was yesterday. Um, it has spread, but it spread in a more mellow way. So maybe it's just all sort of uh, evening out here. Regardless, it's still a pain in the butt. Last night I took a Benadryl and uh, I, I just passed out and you know, I woke up at like 9 in the morning today, <laughs> but as far as uh, the itching is concerned, not very much itching, a little bit this morning when I woke up, but, you know, my my hand doesn't look crazy, it doesn't look like, or my arm, it doesn't look like this is swollen and this is normal, at least it's sort of all just mellowed, mellowed out into one big swollen mess. The end is near, I hope. I mean, I'm still going to have the swelling for maybe another week, but it looks like it's not getting more puffy, which I'm really happy about. All right, stay tuned. We'll see what, we'll see what happens. All right, it looks like I've survived. Okay, it's been day three. It's almost 70 hours since the initial sting, and it looks like my arms are returning back to normal a little bit. This is still puffy, you can see, but... You know, it's not itching anymore. It was itching a lot last night. Um, my hands are sort of returning to normal a little bit. There's a little bit of definition, but still some, some puffiness. Uh, I think I'm on the mend now. I think I'm over the hump. I just got to get better. And uh, that's happening right now. So I think uh, it's still going to be a week or so before my arm returns to normal, but the swelling is gone. And I appreciate you guys coming with me on this journey. I hope this helps somebody. If you got stung, let me know in the comments below if you got stung by a yellow jacket. Same thing happened to you. And uh, I'd be interested in knowing about it. Um, if you just got stung, I'm very sorry. You've got a itchy 48 hours and an uncomfortable 48 hours coming up. But you'll get through it just like I did. Um, if you like this or if it helped you, go ahead, go ahead and hit the, the like button. Leave a comment, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe.